What is good, everyone? Welcome back to another episode of Bible with the Daily Zappa. Last time, Bible chapter Z, we did chapter 26 in numbers. And sorry, I, I kind of like crapped on it and, and rushed it, but it was so long and boring, I wasn't having a good day. But on this day, it's 27 of numbers. Zelephihad's daughters. The daughters of Zelephihad, son of Hephur, the son of Gilead, the son of Mekir, the son of Manasseh, belonged to the clans of Manasseh. Son of Joseph. The names of the daughters were Mela, Noah, Hogla, Michala, and Tirzah. They came forward and stood before Moses, elders of the priests, the leaders, and the whole assembly, at the entrance of the tent of meeting, and said, <coughs> Our father died in the wilderness. He was not among Korah's followers who banded together against the Lord, but he died for his own sin and left no sons. Why should our father's name Disappear from his clan because he had no son. Give us property among our father's relatives. So Moses brought their case before the Lord, and the Lord said to him, What Zelophehad's daughters say are saying is right. You must certainly give them property as an inheritance among their father's relatives, and give their father's inheritance to them. Say to the Israelites, If a man dies and leaves no son, Give his inheritance to his daughter. If he has no daughter, give his inheritance to his brothers. If he has no brothers, give his inheritance to his father's brothers. If his father had no brothers, give his inheritance to the nearest relative in his clan, that he may possess it. This is to have the force of law for the Israelites, as the Lord commanded. Joshua to succeed Moses. Then the Lord said to Moses, Go up the mountain in the Eberim range and see the land I have given the Israelites. After you have seen it, you too will be gathered to your people, as your brother Aaron was. But when the community rebelled at the waters and the desert was in, both of you disobeyed my command to honor me as holy before their eyes. These were the waters of Meribah Kadesh in the desert was in. Moses said to the Lord, May the Lord, the God who gives breath to all living things, appoint someone over this community to go out and to come in before them, one who will lead them out and bring them in, so that the Lord's people will not be like sheep without a shepherd. So the Lord said to Moses, Take Joshua, son of Nun, a man in whom is the spirit of leadership, and lay your hand on him. Make him stand before Eleazar the priest and the entire assembly and commission him in their presence. Give some of your authority so that the whole world, whole Israelite community will obey him. He is to stand before Eleazar son the, the priest who will obtain decisions for him by inquiring of the Urim before the Lord. At his command he and the entire community of the Israelites will go out and at his command they will come in. Moses did just as the Lord commanded him. He took Joshua and made him stand before Eleazar the priest. And the whole assembly. Then he laid his hands on him and commissioned him as Lord instructed through Moses. Well, thank you all for listening. It's been a pleasure today, actually. Kind of... <clears throat> I am the Daily Dabba, and this is.